We are PoolPlaza.com and today we're going to look at a swimming pool pump, how the pump works, and the different parts of the pump so that you will know what to look for if there are problems or other issues with your pump. This is a complete pump. Notice in the complete pump that you have a motor which is the back of the pump and the motor is just a part of the pump and then you have the front part where the plumbing comes in the front from the pool and the plumbing comes out the top to carry water to the filter to the heater and then back to the swimming pool again. Water is sucked from the pool or the spa in through the front of the pump. When the water comes in the front of the pump there is a basket to catch leaves and debris so that the pump impeller and other equipment cannot get clogged up. Water is sucked from the pool or the spa in through the front of the pump. When the water comes in the front of the pump there is a basket to catch leaves and debris so that the pump impeller and other equipment cannot get clogged up. Always check the basket number one through the clear lid and when it has debris in it take the lid off empty the basket and then put it back. If the basket is broken or has holes in it then you need to replace it because the basket needs to be able to catch all the debris. When the water goes into the front of the pump and through the basket it then goes to the inside of the pump. Most pumps have a diffuser which channels the water into the impeller. The diffuser doesn't move. The diffuser is a fixed part but it channels water through this hole in the middle into the impeller. The impeller also has a hole it fits into the diffuser. The water goes into this hole and then the impeller turning pushes the water out these holes around the edge. Notice the word I use for this is impeller, I-M-P-E-L-L-E-R. It is not a propeller. Impellers are on the inside of the equipment as this would be inside the pump. Propellers are on the outside like in an outboard motor situation. The wider the impeller, the higher the horsepower and the more water is pushed by the impeller into the pool system. A small thin impeller is low horsepower, a wide impeller is high horsepower. This impeller attaches at the back to the motor shaft and that's what makes the impeller turn when the motor is on. Wherever there is an opening into or out of the pump there needs to be a seal, an o-ring or a gasket of some kind to prevent water from leaking out of the pump and to prevent a loss of pressure. With the lid over the basket there will always be an o-ring. With the impeller there will be a shaft seal to prevent water from leaking back into the motor. Inside the pump there is an o-ring on the diffuser to create a good seal to make sure that water does not leak around the outside edge of the diffuser. At the middle of the pump where the back half and the front housing connect there will be a large o-ring or a gasket to prevent leaking at this point. If water gets into the motor because the shaft seal has failed you may begin at some point to hear a grinding noise or other types of noises coming from the motor. 
When this happens, you will need to replace the motor because over time the motor noise will get worse and the motor at some point will shut down and not turn anymore. At Pool Plaza we try as hard as possible to make it easy for you to find the parts you need and to get the help you need to keep your equipment operating properly. If you have a pump that needs parts or if you have questions about why your pump may not be operating properly, you can email us at info, info at poolplaza.com or you can call us during the week between 8 and 5 Central Time at 214-221-6900 and in addition to that there is a lot of information on the website about how to check your equipment and to make repairs.